which of these two ways? Changing yourself or trying to change the outside world? Which of these two ways do people think is the more realistic one? Yourself. So, that's the bottom line. Very simple. Nobody is thinking about you as much as you are. They're busy thinking about themselves. And once you realize that, no one's paying any attention to the size of your house or how nice your car is. Nobody's paying attention to your clothes. Nobody is paying attention to them as much as you are. Once you recognize that, then I think your uh, desire to put out your peacock feathers like that diminishes. Not, not to zero. It's not to say you should look like a slob. It's not that in the slightest. It's just when you realize that nobody, nobody cares about your, your circumstances as much as you do because they're busy worrying about themselves, then I think it's much easier to keep your expectations in check. Shut the fuck up a little bit because if you are the man, people will be able to see it. Yeah. And you don't need to describe your life or your actions or your, you know, your. when I turn up, when I, if I pulled up to a meeting with you yeah. in a $5 million car with a 10 out of 10 beautiful model, you'd be like, yeah, Tristan's the man. You don't have to brag, I don't, I don't right? Need to brag. It's, yeah. So it's it's very visual and it's very obvious. So if you find yourself having to brag, maybe as a younger man that came from a place of insecurity, I don't know why I used to brag and talk so much, but there was no need to do it because you can make things real without without you know you can make people's perception of you very very real without saying a single word. And nowadays, I keep my mouth shut a lot more. Yes, taking responsibility for your life is taking responsibility for how you perform your actions, what you do. And if most of your actions are means to an end, your whole life is of low quality. It lacks presence. And you're always looking out for the next moment which you think is going to be better. When it comes is unfortunately only the present moment, which is never good enough. That's low quality life. Yes. You have to be the man who can command a room. I know some very smart people, some very brilliant people who can sit around a group of 30 people and no one would listen. Yeah. You know, I can command a room. So could you. So can a lot of people I know. Yeah. Are... Take action. Take action. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. A body at rest tends to stay at rest. You've had enough damn rest. Go take action. You're gonna suffer as a nobody, because trust me, nobody suffers. Or you're gonna suffer the pain it takes to become great. Life is not supposed to be a happy picnic. You're supposed to get up, work hard, dedicate yourself, get strong, get rich, go through whatever it takes to become somebody of significance. Nothing is going to change unless you change what you're doing. Change the junk food that you're eating. Change the time that you wake up. Change what you do when you get out of bed. Change what you do with your time. That's what you need to do. You have to change some things or nothing will change. So make changes and start little. Get up a little bit earlier. Get a workout done. It doesn't have to be epic. It doesn't have to be epic. You don't have to do a, a, a three-hour leg day. But get up and get something done.